Hey guys. So we went and got some more lumber. Um, apparently around here, the two by 12 by 16s are in short supply. So we had to order some of those. And uh, while we're waiting for that, we just bought a smattering of other things to finish the floor. So we are gonna be working on the porch section of the floor today because we were able to get a bunch of two by eights. Um, and also just finish off some of the end pieces in that. Al also got all of the joist hangers on the east side done. So as soon as we get those um, longer pieces of lumber in, we will be able to continue the joist and get that all done. So uh, yeah, we have a nice calm day today, or at least calmer than it was yesterday. It was pretty windy yesterday. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get some rain tomorrow. So that'll be a nice uh, rest day for us. Oh man, on the corner. Selling pencils from a cup Big man giving out orders Turns to us, says listen up So we decided it's about time to show you our floor plan because we're going to be finished doing the floor soon and we're going to start putting up the walls and the roof and it'll be easier for you to follow along if you have a clearer view of what we are planning. So the square footage of the house is 1310. Without the porches it's 1132. The entire house is an open concept of course except for the bathrooms which have walls and doors. Uh, there's no basement obviously. But, and there is no second floor. We actually made a very conscious choice not to have any stairs at all in this house, which means as well that we will not have any stairs leading up to the front door or at the back door either. Some unique highlights are that the fireplace is visible from all sides. The island is movable. The windows are floor to ceiling windows at the front and at the back. The porch is screened in and our little firewood system is loadable from outside and then we grab all of that stuff from inside. Some of these things, the way that we've got it set up in the picture obviously are subject to change, but for the most part we have nailed down the house exactly the way we want it. Making sure that this is on 16. Get this blocked at the bottom. I need 15 and three quarters 
that's the special one and then I'll, I'll need to notch it at the top Hey folks, uh, welcome to some Autumn Splendor. Um, we are awaiting a shipment of a boatload of uh, 2x12 by 16s that we have secured and procured. Um, that's coming tomorrow. And in the meantime, I cut uh, as much blocking as I have scrap lumber for, uh, for the, you know, in anticipation of those joists coming in. Um, so we figured rather than sitting on our hands, um, we are going to build up the start of what will eventually be like our ramp or runway up to the, the front entrance. So I'm just taking some of the larger blocks from over in our ample supply of blocks and just dry piling a wall of sorts. Um, I'm going to make some rough steps just so that we can step up to the deck uh, and make it easier than constantly crawling on top. And I could do many things for that, right? We could we have a little portable staircase we could use for it. I could build from all the tail ends that I have, um, probably just a set of stairs for that. But I figure we're going to do this eventually. So, you know, why not get Hello Dolly and pick up some rocks and pile them up and see where it goes. <laughs> that I can't seem to find When I go to reach it Just leaves my mind Waking with a note How could a poem hold lumber has arrived we're very excited we've got our uh, work cut out for us because we've got quite a bit to get over to the saw and uh, put into the floor but 
Should take us probably a few days to get it all done and then we can move on to the walls. So we are both super pumped. <laughs> Talking to the night into the morning, building 